So I always said, this is a very important beverage. We take it very seriously. We dedicate everything mm -hmm. to this. But if in the end we can't just sit and enjoy and, and share mm -hmm. something special, mm -hmm. ideas, conversation. Conflicts. It's okay to disagree. It's okay. It's okay, so, everybody. Yeah. Just have a bottle of wine and talk about those differences. I Hi, welcome to the Los Libos Wine Merchant and Cafe, where you not only get to taste California Central Coast wines, but you also get to meet the winemakers. And today I have Sonia Magdevsky of Casa Dumetz, but you also had Casa Dumetz is the the overall the overall brand. title, Correct. the umbrella title for your brand. Correct. But then you also have two other wines that are underneath that umbrella called the Feminist Party and Clementine Carter. Right. Um, and you are the winemaker, the proprietor. Yeah. You are the. I'm you're, it. You're it. I'm so, like, if they go to your tasting room in Los Alamos, are you going to be there? Most likely, ninety-five percent. Wow. When it's not harvest. Right. Right. So, as a small business owner, you know, I'm just over a thousand cases, mm -hmm. and so you kind of have to navigate all aspects mm -hmm. of the business. And we were joking, like, oh, let's talk to your mm -hmm. PR person. Well, that's me, yep. you know? Um, social media, you know, invoicing, mm -hmm. accounts, winemaking, staffing. labels. All of it, mm -hmm. you know? Which is very exciting. I always say that if I want to paint a wall purple, I just paint the wall purple. Mm -hmm. Nobody to Nobody has to sort of navigate or ask. Mm -hmm. But it's also the idea of sometimes you feel alone, mm -hmm. you know, where you have to do everything and you're hoping it's the right decisions. Mm -hmm. So with the three labels, you know, Casa de Met started off um, as Pinot Noir initially in 2004. So okay. this 2018 harvest um, is my 14th vintage. I can't believe that I'm even graduating. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. I it's, know, it seems like, is, it, is that how long you've been in Los Alamos? With your no, I opened in Los Alamos in 2011. Okay. And everyone said, so whatever time you time does do, go by fast. Like that. <laughs> and everyone said, don't go to Los Alamos, don't open. And I thought, I love Los Alamos. Yeah. You know, it, everything evolves, thankfully. We evolve, um, and Los Alamos has evolved. And so I opened the tasting room in 2011, in December, and the idea was to really commit to winemaking um, and not be afraid of it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I've been making wine in the garage and then making wine at Tensley um, for a couple of years in sort of a commercial capacity. And then I thought, well, I'm, I'm doing all of these things. Mm -hmm. I'm writing, I'm working at a restaurant, I'm making wine, I'm doing all these things, but I'm not committing to one thing. So that brings me to a question I like to ask our winemakers. Um, I have a philosophy that, you know, the same person, uh, two different people could have the same grapes from the same vineyard, and they'd turn out, you know, do everything the same, but they'd turn out completely different, yeah. um, different nuances. And I think it's because of the personalities that get infused into the wine, the choices they make. So if you can sum up um, an aspect of Sonia's personality that gets infused into your wines, what would that be? I was very intimidated by this question at first because <laughs> I thought, I have no idea. But actually, you know, as I've had a minute to think about it, I think the one characteristic of the wines that I make is purity. Um, I, I feel emotionally that my expressions are very pure. I'm a very emotional person. Um, and I, I said before, I'm very hardworking, I'm very committed, I'm very dedicated, and all of that comes from a purity of wanting to express and share something of a place. Mm -hmm. Of, of the earth, of here. Mm -hmm. You know, people always ask, so where do you want to make wine? Like, do you love Chateau Neuf? It's like, of course I do, but I'm not looking to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to create a pure expression of the vineyard that I work with. Clementine Carter is all of the Rhone and Grenache okay. labels, and that's for, in honor of a woman on her journey. Mm -hmm. I love Westerns, and she's a character in one of my favorite Westerns called My Darling Clementine. Aww. And she's a woman who traversed the country by train, you know, seeking mm -hmm. a foundation. Mm -hmm. um, and when she arrived at her destiny, uh, she was kind of 
pushed away at first, mm -hmm. and then she found her foundation, and so it's just that's great. it resonated, and it was yeah. cool, and she's cool, and I love Western. So anyway, that's, an uh, that's where the garage sounds like you. Absolutely. So. <laughs> well, I hope. Um, and then Casa de Met started uh, to make Pinot Noir, and mm -hmm. so we, we go back to the idea of site in Santa Barbara. I helped plant a small Pinot Noir vineyard uh, in 2004 mm -hmm. in the wrong location, mm -hmm. and so after 10 years of working mm -hmm. really hard to establish this, maybe we had a vineyard mm -hmm. or two. Mm -hmm. And so then you learn like, oh, maybe mm -hmm. everything shouldn't grow wherever you want it to grow. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why things right. grow in certain areas. And so the lessons have been extreme and beautiful, but that's why I'm here and mm -hmm. able to make everything else. Mm -hmm. And then the Feminist Party um, has I been a it. ship. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I like the play on words too. It's like it's a party. Absolutely. But it's also it's a, a political party, but it's also a party. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's thank you for saying that because it's really all about sort of when we work, everything's better when we mm -hmm. work together. And so that's also from that spawned the speaker series that I have every Friday. And it's really about open dialogue. Hmm. And I feel like when people come to the tasting room... So you have this in your tasting room? Yeah, every Friday. Oh. We talk about everything. Cool. It's been five years now, and it's been bread fermentation to immigration to hmm. writing to everything. Oh, that's great. It's hardly ever about wine. Every once in a while it'll mm -hmm. be about wine. But it's really about sort of come in six to seven, you know, before you have your plans and go out and after work, and you just come in and you meet people, we have a conversation, someone presents a topic, and then it's all about, let's just talk about it. Mm -hmm. Controversial, not controversial, but if we get to sit and listen with a glass right. of wine, we're a little more relaxed, we're a little calmer, right? Yes. That's the whole <laughs> That's point. 